Habarias boy karibu sana Kenya. Well, welcome to Kenya and good morning. It's what I said in Swahili. We have a beautiful herd of elephants, but if we go a bit wider, uh, it was a lot of uh, the main group. It was our first night in camp, and you can see camp over there. That's final control. Our tents are up there, and we had those elephants as wonderful visitors in our camp for our first night in camp. So very exciting. We've moved into our tents, and uh, we're all getting settled in. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Senzo and Keys on camera, and you're on a live safari in Kenya and South Africa. Remember, hashtag Safari Live uh, if you want to ask us any questions. And a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And I will be telling some stories about my dad. And, and he's probably quite an important person in terms of what I'm doing right now and has led me on the path uh, to the middle of nowhere. So speaking of the middle of nowhere, we're going to keep trundling on towards the hill. Let's have one more look at those lo lovely Ellies. And... Uh, so they were right in camp last night. I could actually hear them next to my tent. And it is one of my favorite things at night is to listen to elephants. And uh, I'll tell you a funny story about Botswana and elephants. Well, John says uh, he's never seen elephants on the hill. Well, they're quite often on the hill up here. And uh, there's a couple of herds that come through around camp and feed in the, in the, in the, on the hill below. Now... I think it must have been one of my first, oh, no, it wasn't. I'd started working for my dad again. Um, I'd been in Zambia for a, for a while, and then I came back to Botswana. And uh, we were having morning coffee with our guests. And a lady said, you're not going to believe, but there was a lion purring outside my tent last night. And we were like, no, no, I don't think so. And, of course, that lovely low rumble that elephants communicate with, uh, this poor lady was convinced she was surrounded by lions all night. Alas, it was just elephants, but that lovely <whistles> is one of my favorite sounds in the world. And uh, unlike most people who get a bit nervous when they're elephants within five meters, I seem to sleep much better knowing that they're there. Amanda would like to know how, how I am I so chipper in the morning. Well, Amanda, believe it or not, I don't even need coffee uh, to be chipper. The moment my feet hit the ground, I am awake, and the morning is one of my favorite times. The birds are calling, and one of the best things about my and Jamie's tent is we're right on the edge of camp, and we're actually surrounded by this beautiful wild olive trees and we get the best birds and they were going from about four o'clock this morning and one of my favorite birds the white browed robin chat used to be called the hugulans and of course the tropical boo-boos two of the oh we can hear a tropical boo-boo in the distance two of the best calls in the world to wake up to Absolutely stunning. That's what this morning is. And as I say, uh, I'm always chipper when I get to go on game drive. Isn't that exciting? Uh, I get. And I think today we're going to be doing. And since it's a lovely still morning, we haven't had too many of those. The wind has been howling something fierce recently. I think it's a good morning to build on our Kenya bird list. Now, of course, we are probably. Well, I'm guessing we might bump into the wonderful Angama Pride as well. And you never know whether there's a cheetah around the corner. And some of you might have noticed I've got a new shooker as well. See, that's a new shooker. I like this one. It's very nice colors. There you go. So, what do you think of my shuka? Hashtag Safari Live. Uh, you can let me know what you think of my new shuka. Uh, actually, Jamie and I went to the village and we bought about eight new shukas. We can use them to decorate our tent. Uh, but yeah, hashtag Safari Live. What do you think of Brent's new shuka? I think it's wonderful. What do you think, Senzo? It's beautiful, man. Yes. Now we're going to go all the way back to South Africa to a man who very sadly doesn't have a shuka. Poor, poor Byron. <laughs> 